So, um, Clawmaster M712, ticking it apart, weigh every part of it, measure every part of it, see exactly uh, what it's made of, see the build quality, and we'll, uh, yeah, see what the weight, we can uh, see what the weight is in it. 59 grams, nice. So, we've got a nice battery, or not a battery, USB holder for it, hiding. This looks one big ass label. The biggest, the heaviest label we've had is a gram. So they spent all that time shaving off the bottom, look. And then <laughs> slapped a fucking massive label on it. Why would you do that? Why? Nobody cares about the holes. I know people think it's gonna stop dirt getting in, but we've already proved that the last few streams where we cleaned some minging mice with no holes. God, that's, that's definitely a gram. Why make a lightweight mouse and put out? Just over half a gram's worth of weight in a label. So it looks like we take the label off. Look at it, look, it's a bit nice. Looks all right with that, right? Can see they are slightly rounded, which is good. Because they've also channeled out the skates, so you can't even put a longer one on it if you wanted to, you'd have to sand it. So we've got four screws, can I take this thing apart? One, eight, two, three. Well, two here, two here. Standard screwdriver. I don't get it right, why have you screwed this together, Color Master, when it's so tight? It doesn't need them. I can't get the thing open with my fingers. I waste I waste that weight on, on screws. Like there's no there's no way this needs screws. Holy shit! This thing is tightly clipped together. That's what it looks like first before I do anything like that. Ooh, LK switches. I've never seen them. Interesting. Some different switches. I can already tell we're going to save some weight when we take that freaking diffuser out. Right, two screws here. A one, a two. It feels like hair is glued. I've wrapped it around this post. Why can't I get this? Can't get these side buttons out. I feel like they're a permanent measurement, a permanent measurement, a permanent piece, unless you uh, actually do force them out, which isn't part of this tear down, that's part of the modding, but I think you can't be able to get them out without um, breaking them. Let's see, like. Interesting. I can't get these out, so they're gonna have to stay. Which is the first time I think I've not got to get the side switches out. I feel like I'm gonna break them. Pretty interesting mount. They've definitely done tried some stuff. Got these mounting points, plastic riveting, really kind of things again. Look at that mount. It's a weird mount. screwed which is why you get this kind of slack button feel let's try and get these side buttons on we're gonna blow torch them off this needs a little bit of heat to get the glue warmed now these won't technically come out but we're gonna help it a little bit yes look at that you see no mouse was murdered during the process no fires. Using Hawaiian, see a good guess. 
or a new black shell green dots. Not a bad side button. You're good to see the glue of the side buttons and it makes it a bit more secure. The fuel quality feels pretty decent. I'm not sure I found a good solution for your plastic for like riveting like the brazes and stuff like that's not I don't know I guess we had to do a little bit of extra pre-travel there's a viper or death adder we did we did mod but you can see they're using plastic in there to hold the mains in as well now does this mean we can't get the mains off here I think these are permanently stuck because the weight mounts clips into it, but you've got to, you'd have to lift it forward to then unhook it. I can't see how we're going to apply the pressure down. That'd be a one way uh, clip. I don't know, okay. I was wrong. No, nope, they will come off. So. I'm thinking that you can't uh, push it down to pull out the pin, but actually you can just pop down the so the way around the button actually clips onto it. You see that? Hmm, interesting. Different way of mounting it. Bit more creative, but I'm not sure I'm a fan. Right. And they got they got a spring as well. Look, stop it feeling mushy. So you need to pull off the front plunger first, so you have to unhook them like so. I just feel like you're gonna break them. Just gonna pin the spring. This is a totally different system to anyone else has used for these mains. The innovation maybe from Cooler Master. Massive battery. Now I don't know these switches. LK. No one knows these. Play the Optimex from Omron. Is that how they name them as? Green Hawano. So it's using green around the Optimex. So be another maybe the original Omron. Don't know. Screw, screw. That's it. I think maybe clip at the front. Take the battery out first. So it looks like a one millimeter JST. We say tried to hide the batteries. I found a mouth start even changing the color coding of the cables is a bit annoying. Given how much you're paying and how much you can see through it. It's a beast, it's 500 milliamp. DMs there. This thing's got a brick in the back of it. grams of battery holy shit why they put this massive padding on the battery it's foam
These switches are the uh, Omont 80mm Optomex, aren't they? But they're branded to LK for that one. So it's a KL 11 mil, if you're wondering. You want to change it? Quite high encoder. And it's got the Hirano pink, uh, green dot, black, and it's on a razor as well. So we are rocking, the sensor is a 3370, which is probably why it's got a 500 milliamp. MCU is an N52833. These are rivet on, so you can't take them off without damaging it. A bit of a shame. That's interesting. It's got a spring-loaded USB trap. The one thing I do like about this M712 is the scroll wheel. It's a nice rubber. They could have lightened up this as well. I feel like they could have gone a bit further. Cooler master if they wanted to make a lightweight. 59 grams for this. Could have been lighter and they definitely can see that in their design. The graft is real. We glued it on. Why'd stop it spinning around? Interesting. Looks a bit cheap that scroll wheel though. But I guess it does a purpose. Two grams, heavy man. A rubber, I reckon. Yeah. But it does feel nice. Nice. Quite complex to be fair that a bit more intricate than I had expected. I don't know, my overall thoughts of it. I think it's built well. I think the battery is humongous at 500 milliamp, but not the end of the world. Sensor's too far forward. Mims are a little bit mushy. Interesting setup on the mains. It's a little different to what anyone else has done, but it would have been nice to have seen them a little bit more less mushy. They don't wibble left and right, which is good, no wobble. Could definitely made it lighter though, massive label, massive battery holder, and a surprise. Other than that, solid pretty much. Poity.